Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to another video and this video is going to be on the trade that just happened in the NHL where the Detroit Red Wings sent goaltender Peter Mrazek to the Philadelphia Flyers for two conditional draft picks and I'm going to tell you my thoughts on this from a Red Wings fan perspective as that is my favorite team but first I'm going to read you this article. The terms of the trade could be greatly improved for Detroit. If the Flyers make the playoffs and Mrazek wins five regular season games, the 2018 fourth round pick becomes a third round selection, and if the Flyers can advance to the conference finals and Mrazek wins six playoff games, that pick would upgrade again to a second rounder, and separately, if the Flyers re-sign Mrazek next season, Detroit will also get Philadelphia's third round pick in 2019, and Red Wings are retaining half the salary of Mrazek in this trade. The deal comes with the Flyers desperate to do something following injuries to goaltenders Brian Elliott and Michael Neuvirth. Last week, it was announced Elliott would miss 5-6 to six weeks after undergoing core muscle surgery, and meanwhile, Neuvirth left Sunday night's game against the New York Rangers with a lower body injury and his status has yet to be updated. Mrazek, a pending restricted free agent, has been steady for the struggling Red Wings this season, having gone 8-7-3 in 22 games, while posting a .910 save percentage and a 2.89 goals against average and 3 shutouts. The move proves the Flyers don't plan on throwing away what has been a strong season just because of injuries to their goalies. The club is in the thick of it in the Metropolitan Division, holding down third spot, just 4 points back of the Phil Pittsburgh Penguins with 2 games in hand. So that is the article. And in my opinion, I, I was a big fan of him. I think he had a lot of potential, but I really just don't think Detroit was the right situation for him to thrive in. I think he's going to do a lot better in Philadelphia as their starting goaltender for the next couple of months. And hopefully he does really well there. And hopefully he does well so Detroit can get those draft picks. As if he wins however many playoff games they get, I think it's upgraded a draft pick and stuff like that. And if Philadelphia resigns him, they do get another draft pick. So that would be nice. And I do think they will resign him because... He's a pretty solid goaltender and I think they're really going to see that as he's going to get an opportunity to shine here in Philadelphia. And for Detroit, I think they really were paying too much for having him as a backup goaltender. They were paying him too much. Uh, they are retaining a bit of his salary, but I really don't think that matters. I think it was just time for them to move on from Peter Mrazek. And if I'm a Flyers fan, I'm pretty excited about this. He's a big goaltender. He's only 26 years old, so he has a lot of potential. And in his career, he's played 168 games and has 72 wins and 58 losses and 20 overtime losses, a 2.60 goals against average, and a .912 save percentage. So those are some pretty good numbers as he has a winning record throughout his career. And he's been playing on Detroit when they haven't been very good so he's been pretty solid over his career but I do think that he's gonna thrive in Philadelphia I really hope he does and if I'm a Flyers fan I'm pretty excited as a Detroit fan I don't really care I liked Peter Mrazek but it's clear they're going with Jimmy Howard as their starter for the rest of the season and they were paying too much for a backup so I think it was time to move him and he's going to be in a better situation anyway, as there was rumors that he wasn't happy with Detroit, and there's been rumors he's going to get traded forever. So, it has finally happened, and I think the time was right. So, yeah, let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this trade. I think it's good for the Flyers. I think it's good for the Red Wings if they can get a couple draft picks out of it, as he was a fourth-round pick. So, he, it's not like he was a, a bust or anything. He was drafted late. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this trade down in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you have not already and I'll see you guys in the next video.